In a soft world of wool, once filled with life and joy, wanders a ragged and lonely soul. He has climbed across mountains as high as tall towers, in search of life, in search of color, and mostly in search of <laughs> pretty flowers. Now when Stuffy sees something pretty, very little can keep him away, and not even steep cliffs or imminent danger can keep him at bay. Well, frankly, it's pretty amazing this creature is still around. Maybe what he should be looking for is a sense of direction, while defying the principles of natural selection. And find some solid ground. <laughs> Don't worry, it's not the first time Stuffy falls. It's a big elephant, he can take it. Let's see what this wanderer has fallen into this time. Did I see? Oh, never mind. Hmm. Oh, just your ordinary colorful woolen valley here. Although I must admit the knitting work is excellent. Hmm. If I know Stuffy, he won't like going into that cave. I'm not saying he's a coward, but he's not exactly brave. Well, not in darkness anyway. Now what is this metal machine doing here? Looking lifeless and all wrong. It's not yet a part of our story. Oh, Stuffy, move along. Up ahead, an intricate little machine jutted from the ground. But Stuffy, of course, glanced over it, for what also came into view was a pretty little bird, all colorful and blue. Yes, Stuffy, go ahead, frolic, make some sound. That could make him come around. Lots of big mountains here, aren't there? Now Glitch wakes up and sees the world for the first time, filling him with wonder blazing. For a woolen world stretched out before him, soft woolen, 
and frankly quite amazing. For as long as he knew he had been blind, but now sees soft hands of wool, caring and kind. Who was this creature looking so terribly lost? Loose limbs and half its ear torn. How did it come to look so worn? Glitch paused and thought, not knowing what to do. Was he a thing that helped? And a kind thing too? For now, maybe, circumstance had let their paths cross. They should stick together for now and be less at a loss. Now for Glitch, this all was pretty strange. You see, gone was the cold metal, foul smoke and creaky clocks. His vision now filled with soft knitted hills and neatly quilted rocks. Was he the only metal creature here? In a world of soft shapes, fiber and stitch, stood a metal machine with a socket perfect for glitch. The machine came to life. It was made for knitting. With the right pattern, glitch could make any fabric fitting. He could set stuffy right and found he would do so with delight. Now why would that be? By this new appearance, Stuffy hooted with glee, thinking life was too short to remain the same for all eternity. <laughs> Such an optimist. knitting all these trees here? Stuffy could not be persuaded to enter the cave, mightily fearing the dark, and helplessly looked at Glitch, hoping he could give a spark. Keep an eye out for Glitch. You'll think out loud when an action can be done. In the darkness, Glitch's light gave the cave a reverent glow. Drawings done by Stuffy's kind illuminated the walls. Speaking of their safe life here, before the time of woe, where were they now? Another type of machine marred the otherwise colorful view, with arms like that of an insect, limp and still. It seemed to tug at Glitch's will. Now why would it do that? He had no clue. This machine spoke to Glitch in words without sound. If they spoke back in the correct rhythm, something important could be found.
Can you imagine knitting all these trees here? Why would a machine containing a stuffy knitting pattern be here? Was there a connection with all these knitting machines near? Ah, a new shape could have other abilities. That was pretty neat. This new blueprint contained patterns for both strong arms and powerful feet. Useful, I'm sure. Glitch didn't dare leave Stuffy behind. There was so much of this world he didn't yet know. He had just awoken without memory. If off he flew, where to would he go? Besides, someone should keep an eye out for his newfound friend. Who was better suited than a firefly that could apparently knit, fix, and mend? There is so much to explore here. You can scan the patterns on certain flowers, patches, or creatures. Glitch will find special uses for some of these colorful features. Huh, you'll see. animal patterns can give you varying abilities for each part. To your right, you can apply any of the fabrics you have scanned so far. Smoke will tell you when a knitting machine is near.
colorful. Oh, I do like the sun. There are more of those machines as the one in which Glitch had crashed to the ground. They will tell you about the chain of events that led to Glitch ending up here and being found. If you can piece together what they are trying to say, that is. Glitch was engulfed by memories, images and words making no sense, but holding great worth. He remembered words without sound. He was falling to the ground. Something was lost, and great was the cost. He saw darkness and steel, felt the turning of the wheel. A great danger was unleashed, like an untamed beast. The hunt had begun, but when? The machine gave Glitch a glimpse into his lost memory, although this world did not seem to be in jeopardy. He would need to find more memories to understand any of it. Stuffy was impressed by Glitch, solving all this complicated stuff. Glitch had real smarts, that was sure enough.
Ah, the hills here look quite comfortable. As Stuffy stepped on the pumpkin, the stream swept them on their way, deeper into the meadows and the hidden wonders that therein lay, and the hidden and as of yet still distant dangers, of course. That's when Glitch saw the moon and felt its immediate pull. It entranced him and endeared him and made him stare like a fool. He wanted to go there. No, he felt that he should, but still not knowing how or for what reason he would. How could something so big be held trapped in the sky? He retreated deep into thought, pondering the how and the why. Stuffy just enjoyed the view, staring at all the different creatures and sights floating by. Not much pondering the how, not caring a whole lot about the why. He remembered having friends a long, long time ago. It felt right with Glitch at his side and to be taken in tow. Seeing the moon had changed Glitch eternally, and to get to it behind the Red Mountains, they should be. Now since Stuffy can't swim, they would have to go around. My guess is that at the end of this path, a way up can be found. One of these paths, anyway. It did cost time, that much was true, but Glitch found he enjoyed the tailoring. Enjoyed it with an enthusiasm so unwavering. It's a good thing Stuffy enjoys it too. Another shape for Stuffy was near, yet Glitch had to wonder, who had put all this machinery here? of color.
this valley seems without peril. hills here look quite comfortable. Ah, he remembered. Explosions like a sounding horn. Something got ripped, something got torn. He had died on the spot and was birthed anew, but something had gotten greatly askew. The world was wrong. Gone was the song. What song? What was wrong? Oh, it made no sense. This valley was full of life, but to glitch, something felt, well, amiss. Stuffy must once have lived in a valley just like this. But without others of its kind? Surely not. They must have traveled to someplace new. Maybe leaving Stuffy behind. Oh, what a thing to do. As Glitch grudgingly admitted, a short intermission was fine. His actual enthusiasm showed by asking Stuffy, what color and shape shall it be this time? <laughs> <laughs> 